Hello friends, Miss Kelly here with the Grimes Public Library. This is your instructional video for the Batik Zipper Pouch Grab and Go for April. Stop by the library to pick up your kit. What is Batik? Well, it comes from the area of the world of Indonesia on the island of Java, and it's an old art form that um, in which cloth is dyed, um, but first the design is created with wax. So a wax is applied to the cloth in a specific design, usually a repeating pattern, and then it is dyed. Wherever the um, wax is, the color will not adhere to, and it creates a resist pattern. So we're going to be creating that using glue and acrylic paint. If you are um, not able to pick up a kit or are out of kits when you get here, you can just use a regular piece of cloth. I recommend some cotton canvas type material. Um, and you'll need some wax paper, glue, and acrylic paint. Um, the kit will come with this pouch. You're going to want to put the wax paper in between um, the inside of your bag because you do, and you'll want to want to put wax paper or a protected surface behind any cloth that you do this on so that the glue and the paint doesn't um, run through to the other side. Using the glue, you're going to apply it. I used a swab. I would recommend um, maybe using a brush or even the end of a toothpick. Um, it's it, it uh, the swab wasn't the best um, use for the glue but you're just using regular old white glue I did a K repeating pattern K for Miss Kelly and some dots in between and then I let it dry overnight keeping the wax paper in between um, the inside of the bag the next step is going to be to paint over um, add your dye on top to create the batik resist so using your acrylic paint, you're going to water it down with a couple of teaspoons of water and mixing it up. If you have a sponge brush, that would work great for this application. You can use a regular paint brush. Again, not the best option. Um, make sure you're doing it on a protected surface. If you're in a pinch, you can always just use a wet paper towel to apply this um, watered down paint. Um, if the if the paint gets too thick, your resist um, design won't pop through. So grab a paper towel or a sponge and just make sure you're dabbing off that extra um, ink or paint until you can see your design and then let it dry overnight. You can, of course, um, then flip your bag over and do the opposite side, making sure that the wax paper is in between. Enjoy your batik art from the Grimes Public Library.